everybody, Ann here, and it is insulation taking down day and hopefully putting it back up again on the walls. I'm not going to film this whole process. I want to focus on safety. I don't even know if I know how to work this stupid ladder. So, here we go. Well, I've got three taken down so far. This is over the bed area. And it wasn't too hard. And I was going to take the staples out, but many people cautioned me about the staples because they were worried they were going through the wood. And I, if they did go through the wood, I've got a metal roof, but if they did go through the wood, I didn't want to cause any further injury to it. So I just kind of pulled the insulation off of the ceiling very carefully. And so far I've got three rolls. Most of them seem to come off in pretty good shape. Just a few little areas. Um, anywhere where there's substantial damage, I'm gonna, um, I can see if I can tape with some kind of tape. Uh, you know, when I put these back on the wall, uh, there was one that had a big strip. Um, so I won't use the ones that look like they are substantially damaged. And hopefully the thickness will bounce back. We'll just see. I don't know. So I'm gonna get to work taking a few more down and moving some stuff around so I can get this job done. And I'm going to see if I can insulate all the walls around the bed. And don't worry, I covered everything up. Um, <laughs> Betty wants to take a nap. She's going to have to get up because i got to move that bed. Uh, anyhow, so I think what I'm going to do now is work with these rolls, move the bed out of the way so that I can start putting insulation up on these walls around the bed. All right? All right, I have got two little sections done and I've stapled to the studs every so often. You can see there's a few flaws here and there, but I think I can fix those. There's a substantial one there. Um, I haven't taped this side yet because I'm going to do it like somebody else suggested. When you got the other side in, you can just pull both flanges over and staple them together. But I've got my first problem area. This right here, I've not stapled in. I've just kind of tucked it in. From here to here, this stud, it's a shorter distance. So this piece is too big. Um, and then, I don't know if you can see, the one on this wall goes behind this stud. So I've not stapled that yet either. So my question is, before I staple it, do you think I should just shove it in there and staple it? Or do you think I should cut it? I'm hoping you're telling me I can just kind of shove it in there <laughs> and not have to cut it because cutting this is a pain in the butt. And I used two remnant pieces and I just overlapped them. Goes all the way down. I have not stapled them. So what do you suggest I do for this? Because the this one little section here, and we may have one on the other side too, is smaller. So, I mean, I could stuff it in and staple this to here and maybe even bring this one out and staple it to here but there's going to be a little gap back there I don't even know if you guys can see see that goes behind there so this one's just going to kind of stay here for now um, until I hear from you and then I think what I'm going to do is put a couple more this way and a couple more this way I've watched a lot of YouTube videos, and I've watched ones where I've seen the guys just, you know, making it fit, just stuffing it in there. But then I've also seen ones that say you're not supposed to do that. So I'm relying on you guys to kind of keep me straight. Um, and I'm not going to staple it, like I said, so I don't have to, like, take all those staples out. So, onward. And since I didn't want to sleep with insulation... You know, right behind me. I went ahead. I don't know if you guys remember some of you who followed me in my van life days. I lined the walls of my van. Ooh, I've been sneezing. Uh, with these shower curtains. I mean, that's all it is. I got the insulation behind there. I've done two panels over here. So we're just going to leave it like this until you guys tell me how I did. And if I did okay, or if I need to adjust things, that's no problem. I can do it. And just keep going. Oh, and the roof, I've got up to here removed. So I'm going to take down the rest of those. Hopefully I can salvage them in the walls. 
Hopefully they won't be too damaged. Oh, and one more thing. You to tell me if I should keep using that insulation up there. I mean, it seems still pretty fluffy, um, but there are a few flaws in the facing. How can I fix those? All right. So that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.